Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Arakwadash, the honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a lesson. We're just going to hop right into it. It's the second Ezra 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which the word prophesy means to say before. Okay, and we are commanded to prophesy to the people of Yahabashim Yahushai, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, we're telling you what's getting ready to happen before it happens. Okay, major events is going to take place down here on the earth. It says, Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai. Yeah, these are our own words. Okay, Jay gets offended, you know, by certain things that we say are you know us telling them certain things are going to happen and they look at us like it's us telling them these things but this these are the words of the heavenly father himself okay we're just repeating the message it says and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true and that's how you have the bible today okay yeah i show me how i shy spake to certain men down here on the earth Okay, and they wrote the words that they heard from Yahweh Shemi Shai down on a piece of paper. Okay, and you know, over the course of time, these writings have been compiled into today what you have known as the Bible. All right, it said it caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, meaning what? Everything that you read in here is going to happen. Okay, the destruction, the deliverance as well. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai sparing certain individuals from the things that are coming down here upon the earth. But all the judgments that you read, it's going to take place. Okay, the second return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the king of the earth, that's going to happen as well. All right, it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And the word incredulity, when you look it up, which let's just look it up real quick. So this is the word incredulity. This is from the free dictionary.com. The state or quality of being incredulous, uh, disbelief, lack of belief or skepticism. Okay. Which you shouldn't really be skeptical, skeptical about the words of Yahweh Shemi Shah. All right. The Bible tells you that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is not a man that he should lie. OK, so when you get the, the proper understanding of these things and, you know, you understand what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is saying, which is plain, you know, especially concerning the judgments that's coming down here upon the earth, how, how his son is going to return. Those things are plain. You know, you don't need somebody really to break those things down to you. OK. But our people are still skeptical about that. All right. It says the quality or state of being incredulous, incredulity, doubt about the truth of something. OK, so something can be plain in your face, but you still refuse to accept it as fact. OK, and that is the state of the majority of our people. OK, and then here it has synonyms, disbelief, mental rejection. Which that's what our people are doing consciously. They're mentally rejecting the truth of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? They know it's true deep down, but they don't want to accept it. All right? Because that means that they would have to change the way that they conduct themselves. And that's a hard thing for Jake to do. You know? And Jake comes up with all these excuses in their mind as to why they don't have to do what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai told them to do. You know, oh, is it going to put food on my table right now? I need to eat. You know, I need I need money coming in. It's me doing what the most High told me to do. Is that going to bring food on my table? You know, so this is back in Second uh, Ezra 15 and 3. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. OK, and the reason why these people speak against the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is because they're incredulous. OK. They have a mental uh, rejection, all right? Even though it's plain, okay, it's, it's, it's very apparent, all right, that the world is going to hell in a handbasket, man, all right? 
it's very apparent that there is a creator. Okay, we see all this order everywhere, you know. These things didn't just come about, you know, uh, through some random act like the so-called white man tells you, all right? There is a, a, a man behind all the things that take place down here on the earth. He's in control of everything, man, okay? And he's getting ready to reveal himself, all right? And show the whole world that, you know, hey, you, you supposed to reverence me, okay? Our people are rejecting this, this fact. So it says, fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And we don't, we don't get messed up when Jake don't believe, okay? Because one of the main reasons why these people, you know, speak against us, because they want you to be on their page, you know? They think them telling you something, uh, breaking their philosophy down to you, their bullshit philosophy is going to get you to jump ship and you're going to be in the same boat as them. But we're not troubled by the things that these individuals say Because we know and understand the truth Alright We ain't in the same boat as these people out here It says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness And that's exactly what's going to happen Okay All individuals that do not believe the truth Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Going to destroy them Okay These plagues Alright That Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Is speaking about Are going to come upon you Okay And it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not Alright just like in that definition of mental rejection, okay? You dismissing something that's apparent, an apparent fact, you dismissing it is not going to stop it from happening or does not make it a, a, a fiction, okay? You looking at the sky, you could apparently see that it's blue, but in your mind, you want to tell yourself that it's purple, you know? And that, 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 that's not really blue in my mind, you know? I think that's purple. I think it's, 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 it's yellow. That's, the sky is really yellow. That don't mean that the sky ain't blue. That just means you're a bug out. Okay? It's Romans 3 and 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? Okay? And the majority of our people do not believe in the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right? It says, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? So because you don't believe, is that going to stop Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah from doing what he said he going to do? And the answer to that is no. Okay? And if you don't believe in the things that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai spake, okay, you're going to be on the other side of the things that are coming down here upon the earth. You ain't going to get delivered because the only ones that's going to get delivered are the ones that believe in his words, okay? So you're going to be on the side of, of being destroyed, all right? It says, for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. Okay, so if you ain't coming out of this book, you a liar, which that's the majority of our people. Okay, they don't live in the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, they in all these other philosophies down here. They got all this other madness in their mind. Okay, which all the stuff that they into is telling them that the, the words in this book ain't going to happen. All right, which means what? They're going to get caught up in it. Okay, it says, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, and this is the reason why we can't be judged by these individuals in the world, because they don't have the standard that we do. All right, they're not judging according to the mind of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. They're judging according to whatever they believe in, which is madness. All right, but this word is true. Okay, just like we read in 2nd Ezra 15 chapter, the words in this book are faithful and true, meaning everything is going to happen. All right, the madness that you believe in your mind, that's, that's just something that somebody made up. Okay, these words are straight from the creator. All right, if you don't believe, you're going to get destroyed. This is Proverbs 13 and 13. It says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. And this is a guarantee. All you individuals that got a problem with the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Most High is going to destroy you. All right, you got a problem with the commandments, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you. All right, you got a problem with his son. Well, let's get that real quick. You got a problem with the son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you. All right, this is Luke nineteen and twenty-seven. It says, "But those my enemies." which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me, you're going to be destroyed. All right? 
And really, the people that are against, you know what your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has coming down here. You are anti righteousness, man. Okay, because what, what, why is the Heavenly Father going to do what he's going to do? Why is he going to send his son down here, man, to establish a righteous kingdom down here on the earth? And you don't want that. You love this world where you can commit uh, wickedness. And your wickedness is not punished by the individuals that's in the power seat. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. All right? You don't want to give that up, man. You want to continue to stay in a world to where evil and wickedness is, is at the forefront. That's the standard for living down here. All right? But Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he ain't with that, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father hates iniquity. And since you love iniquity, you at odds with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, so you got to go. All right? Back in Proverbs 13 and 13, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Those are the individuals that's going to be delivered. Okay? They're going to get saved from the destruction that's getting ready to take place down here on the earth. They're going to get saved from the plagues that are getting ready to come down here. The famine, the pestilence, okay, the wars that's going to break out, and ultimately that thermal nuclear destruction, which is going to happen as well. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, which is talking about here in America. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're gonna die. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna put you to death. Okay? And why are you gonna die? Just like you read in 2nd Ezra the 15th chapter, you don't believe in the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, here it is, the most high has stated to you, okay, that he doesn't lie, and Jake don't believe that. You know? And the, the, the level of authority that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has, you better believe him. Okay? This, this is the, the, the top, you know, uh, uh, entity in existence. All right? And Jake don't want to believe what he's saying. You want to dismiss what he's saying as, as, as false. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. All right, which well, that's the one third, the ones that believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that believed in His Word. Okay, that that want a righteous kingdom to be established down here upon the earth. That's tired of the wickedness that's taking place, man. Okay, and all the complaining that our people do, you would think that they would want this to be established, but really deep down they don't. Okay. Jake's uh, the, the top level bullshit artist, man. He'll complain about getting, you know, did dirty by Esau. But he, he, don't, he don't really want a world to where he can prosper like that, man. Okay? Because the only way for you to prosper as a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American would be for you to follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Jake don't want that. Okay? That's why they make their petition to Esau Edom. All right? For him to see them as equals. You know, or at least being a little bit under the level that Esau is on. Okay, you want a little piece of the pot, you know. Because if you were in this world, you can continue to live the same way you've been living. You, you could be a complete demon. All right. And still make it. But see, in the world that's coming, if you are attached to the way that Esau Edom lives, okay, if you 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 got sin. At the forefront of how you conduct yourself You ain't gonna make it Okay You ain't gonna be able to do those things And Jake loves to sin Verse 9 it says And I will bring the third part through the fire Which is uh, twofold Okay the fire represents the adversity That Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Is putting his servants through to refine them Okay And also physically They're gonna be bought through that thermonuclear fire Okay the scriptures tell you that the righteous Shall scarcely be saved all right. So simultaneously, as those missiles are exploding, the elect are going to be beamed up and delivered and literally brought through the fire. OK. And that was, uh, you know, part of the symbolism of uh, Hananiah, Azariah and Mishael going through that fire and being delivered. OK. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. Okay, I will say it is my people 
and they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is my power. And Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Guaranteed. All right. It ain't no if, it ain't no ands, it ain't no buts. This is going to happen. Okay, so you can 100% trust in the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the most high ain't going to be late. You know, the missile exploding, you, you getting burned up a little bit. You know, and then, then the deliverance is going to come. Nah. <laughs> okay. The scriptures say, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and, and see the reward of the wicked, man. Which means what? You ain't going to get touched. Okay. There ain't going to be no uh, elect up in the chariot, half main. You know, half his body burned up and the, the rest of his good. Nah, it, it ain't going to go down like that, man. Okay. But these are the type of things that pop up in the unbelieving's mind. You know, this Revelation 21 and 8, it says, but the fearful and unbelieving, which uh, let's look this word unbelieving up real quick. Which I may have to read this in the NLT uh, as well. Uh, the word there for unbelieving is Strong's G, G571, uh, apistas, apistas. Okay, which means uh, unfaithful, faithless, not to be trusted. All right. Uh, perfidious, incredible of things, unbelieving, incredulous, without trust in Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. See, you got to be a real asshole not to trust the Heavenly Father. The Most High got an impeccable track record, man. Where is Yahabashim Yahweh Shai ever left one of his servants hanging? You know, he's left them out there. All right, they was calling on him. You know, he said he was going to deliver him, and they was calling on him, and he, he just, you know, he forgot. You know, he was in a bathtub, so he, he, he was asleep. He couldn't hear him. You know, there's no instance of that happening in the scriptures. Okay, so you, for, so for you to have mistrust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you a demon. All right, which is the reason why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai ain't going to deliver you. So back in Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Okay, which that's going into the destruction of America, Babylon the Great. All you people that are fearful, you unbelieving, you how about Shimei Yahweh Shai going to burn you up. Okay, that's going to be the punishment for your unbelief. All right, I want to read this in the NLT. This is Revelation 21 and 8. It says, but cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshipers, and all liars, their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death, which is that thermonuclear destruction. Okay, America being on fire. You know, so just want to go into that. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.